Welcome back. Again, jumping straight in so we can kind of try to fit in two shifts this episode. Oh, everything has quality high. Done, sure. Oh, that is mean! Why would you- So that thing's gonna have its quality going down continually. And I can't do anything about it. Uh, at least I can't... Put it back to the front of the queue. I'm still not fully certain actually how the bomb mechanic works, but I'll do what I can. And let me do that. That banana looks so different. I've said it before. The banana looks so different when you're not the one cutting it. Those all look fine. And look at what's happening to the quality of this food. I can't do anything about that because I can't move it. Oh, why, why do I have whisking on here? Awesome. For some reason, I just couldn't get started on that. I don't know if time stops everywhere when you're doing one of these mini games, which would definitely make the game go um, you know, slower if you play all, if you do lots of mini games rather than letting the plankton do stuff themselves. Nice ah. Darn it! That didn't help. Okay, you. I need to work on myself. That was really mean what the game did here, though. Especially, I imagine if I had done anything to this food, or if I was using decor that would decrease my quality or something like that. And this would practically... be on the edge of being ruined from the beginning. I wonder if you could, in the worst case scenario, in theory, actually lose a dish before it even reaches. Not even necessarily the worst case scenario. I wonder if I took a one of those bomb orders and then just kept it in the queue indefinitely. Hello? Just kept it in the queue indefinitely. So I just keep pushing it back in the queue, for instance. Could I just let it... Without have, even starting the order ever, could I just... Have it be ruined? Which, of course, wouldn't make much sense, unless you wanted to say, I guess, that the customer got angry and left or something. But considering that that, that doesn't happen for any other orders, it doesn't make much sense. You know, I don't have this very often, this one mini game. Maybe this one dish is the only time I have it. Mud pie. Um, oh, whatever. Doesn't need to go anywhere. You need what? <laughs> Not sure I cut off SpongeBob there. It's always annoying how most of the time when I mess that one up, it's because I missed just one. That's not everything, I don't think. There we go. Just the one. So I've got a decent number of orders left, we're just waiting on Gary. You know what? Hold on, Grill. I'm not sure what that concept is behind those sounds that you make if you Perfect. tap somewhere wrong. Let me see that. 
just to get some more experience on the pounding since for some reason, in spite of doing it, I thought a lot about how much experience on it. I guess I just haven't done it much lately. Get that moving. You too. Now ultimately I'm certain that combining orders doesn't actually save much time. Since in reality what holds up the time is actually how long Gary takes to, to reach the final order. And there's not much I can do about that. Except for what I just did where I push it to the very front of the queue. It does... Yeah, I'm trying to think through the logic of you being able to lose quality on food before you even start on it. I guess it just is supposed to... If you want to justify it in the universe, it's just someone being impatient about getting their food. Darn it! No, you don't. Why does cheese in the SpongeBob universe always have to look disconcertingly like SpongeBob? Are we all done here? Look, dude, I just messed this up. Why do you think that I have anything to teach you? It's weird how the timing on that works. How it it's based on when you actually put the stylus down instead of when you flick it. I wonder if there's any difference in how these different sauces behave or anything like that. What what just happened here? How did I absorb the last of that sauce? Did I hover over the sauce without realizing it? I don't, I don't think I even saw the last. Yeah, I actually did not see the last two. Whatever. That's the one minigame I object to, because even in universe it doesn't make much sense that the stacking order is different every time. Also a range bugged me a bit since it seemed really, really ridiculously touchy about whether you're putting the pieces in the right place. Because you would put, it, I would put it in what looked like the right place, but it would take me like two tries to actually get the game to accept it. Yay! Okay. Let's quickly look at that because we're already halfway through the episode. Which recipe is actually new? I have no idea. I wish it would tell me. I actually have no idea which one it is. Presumably it's gonna say new on it. I should probably keep that in mind. Wasn't bad because it has stern. Game. I'm not kidding, what seems like an actual majority of recipes almost, or at least somewhere seriously around half, have this one mini game I can't stand. a little foolhardy of me. Combining those when it's already something that is gonna have its quality bouncing around. I wonder what it is that we're cutting here. I don't know what goes in a mud pie. But I'll never not be annoyed by the sobbing in the wrong place on that last step. Is your quality still good? I'm probably not gonna improve it at all by engaging in this mini game, but whatever. Ooh, ah! That was a close one. 
are still fine. Good. Plankton up. Make those big plankins. Another one down. Let me help you out. Are you posing for the camera or something? At this point, like, on these really, really straightforward tasks, I tend to just stare at the plankton. Is that guy again? I tend to just stare at the plankton and how they react to whatever I'm doing. I notice weird things about them. Duh. Why would you do that? It wouldn't be so bad having things I can't move if the queue wasn't so insanely long. Because that's a really long time you have to wait for food to come through if you can't move it yourself. Come on. I, there are like nine, I think there are nine spots to be occupied in total. Ah, whatever. <laughs> There's no reason for me to do better now. Everything is lost. Yes, yeah, so there are nine spots for that thing to occupy. So if you count when it moves in. Cool. Darn it! I, for some reason, was not ready there. That's so about ten times that it has to move. Gary has to move the cage around ten times to get that whole thing through there, which is a long time to wait. Ah! How unforgiving that is. Because Gary seems to take at least five seconds in between movements. Something along those lines, which means... It's like almost a minute that it takes for food to move through that whole system. If something has a lock on it, I have to wait about a full minute for it to come through. Better be really good. At the very least, it's gonna take that long. at least. Go, Gary, go! So why don't you buy me a whip? I, can, can I buy one for like, uh, like $6,000 that I have? what happens when you play a game for too long. You start thinking about things like whipping snails. Because they're too slow. I do appreciate how those slices fall into place after you cut them. Uh, I think there might be one more. There we go. At least that thing didn't hold up the end. And that one time, I swear that I think the last meal, the last order was, I think it was at least twice that the last order ended up being locked like that. There was nothing to do. I just had to sit there and wait. It was ridiculous. Guys, how many times have I painted things in this game? It is a lot less often nowadays, I realize, which is probably why it's taken me so long to get my experience on this to max. And even then, you might... I'm curious if you ever have to do a minigame yourself if your experience on it is max. You might still have to do it on occasion. It might be that if you have max experience, you only have to do the minigame 1 in 20 times or something. I don't know. I don't know the precise math behind it. Go for us. The shape of the banana is weird on the screen preceding this one, but I think the main problem is the color of it. It's nowhere near as saturated. Shh. 
Should we be... Should we be grinding the rhino too? Is that a thing? Is that a thing you even could do with coconut if you wanted? I don't think you usually call it the rind of a coconut, but the outer shell. Do you just learn from your friends? This episode ended up not being too offensive in terms of time. Since we saved a surprising amount of time on the last shift, I don't know how. We'll do that next episode. Bye everyone! We'll see what the, the recipe is, and then we'll do what we did last episode. It's kind of a cycle. Bye everyone. There really is $6,000, jeez. That'd be like a whip made of gold or something. Bye everyone!